Hi everybody, I'm Kim. Welcome to The Regretful Yarn Addict. Uh, I especially want to welcome everybody who's new. Hi. And uh, everybody who's stopping in. Hi. And uh, to the OGs. Thank you for sticking around. So today I want to start out by thanking Rose at Rose Likes Crochet for saying such wonderful, wonderful things about me. Yeah. Made my face turn red when I was watching that video, woman. Mm, glad no one saw that. So, uh, I do appreciate it, Rose. And, uh, well, why don't I make a trip up your way one of these times? And we're going to go out to lunch and shop and just have a good old time. So, really, so thank you, Rose. I, I appreciate that. That was so nice of you. And those. Thank you for not saying, you know, I was so boring that you couldn't stand to watch me and no one should ever, ever tune in. Appreciate that even more. So today, uh, got a few things. First, for those of you who are new, uh, I'd like to say that um, most of the times when I do, when I record, it's like at least three or four days before it actually gets posted on YouTube. Because um, I like to do, I like to do one video a week. So I, I record and then I schedule them in so that I have at least one video going up a week. Because my life is pretty boring and I don't, I don't want to bore everybody too much with, you know, crap nobody cares about. I do have three orders coming in. And I got it wrote down right here. Right here, got it. And March 10th, I ordered from Premier. I think Premier is in North Carolina. I am in St. Louis, Missouri. Well, the St. Louis area. I'm not in St. Louis itself. So anyway, on March 10th, I ordered from Premier. I got an email from them today on March 22nd saying they're refunding me $8.91. They didn't say what for. They just said, I'm getting a refund of $8.91. And they didn't say, hey, you know, the rest of the yarn is all packed, ready to go. It's going to be at your house and whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll be here this week. Maybe it'll be here next week. I don't know. I ordered from Lion Brand on March 14th. All I got was thanks for your order. Appreciate you. Don't know when that's coming. And I think they're in New Jersey. And again, I'm in St. Louis. And then on March 16th or late the 5th, I think it was late the 16th, I ordered from Hobby. Hobby is in Denmark. Denmark, across the ocean. On March 17th, like just a few hours after I placed my order, thanks for your order. It's packed. It's ship, getting ready to ship. We're just waiting for someone to come pick it up. And then today I checked, and again, today is March 22nd. That was March 16th, six days. Uh, I got a notification that it is in the United States, and it's getting cleared in customs. So, which means that I should have it, today's Tuesday, I should have it by Friday. I mean, usually, once it gets into customs, it's pretty quick to get to my house. And I don't know where it is in customs, but I just know Hobby gets here within, I'd say within seven to ten days after I place an order with Hobby, I get it. And the same thing with ice. Seven to ten days, it's sitting in, it's sitting on my porch, ready for me to take it in. So, um, yeah. Uh, let me know. Am I the only one who has these issues with Premier and Lion? Uh, and Michaels. Michaels is notorious for it. And... Michaels and Joanne's, they'll just pick places. They've got places like all over. And they'll just be like, okay, well, part of your order's coming from this place and part's coming from over here and then some's over there. 
So you get it in pieces and it's like, did I get all my order? I don't know. I don't know. So also, uh, I do like a good tax refund, you know, because I was able to get me a couple of these babies. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say, first of all, I'm not a Furls fanatic. I like to have well, you know, I, I've mentioned it before. I I like my hooks. But I like these because I crochet a lot. And sometimes my hands will cramp up and my fingers will get all sore. And I have to go from my fork. Because I usually hold like a, like a pencil. Like, a, like I'm going to write something. And I have to switch to like, I'm going to cut something. Except that's not a, really how I hold a knife. But that's that's how I hold these. So anyway. Blah, 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 blah. This is... Uh, is it gonna... It's an H. A five millimeter. And it's in a pretty, pretty shiny. Look at that. Pretty shiny navy blue it's all sparkly all sparkly and pretty and i already had some um well this is my other furls that i have my other size five it's a uh, swirls streamlined swirls and i like this too but these these have got a lot more heft to them not a lot but these are really light. But sometimes you want something with a metal and not a resin. So, because, I don't know, different, different yarns like different hooks. So that's a size five. This is a J. Size six. And this one is in silver. Not the color I wanted, but it was pretty much the only color they had available in this size. And they were having a 20% off. So I bought it. Even though it was a color I wasn't thrilled with, it's still pretty. Now, I also have some other hooks. Now these... Okay. My Tunisian hooks, because I've been into Tunisian lately. Into a, like, like I've been doing a lot with it. I've just been doing practice pieces. But these are the hooks that I've had since, I think, last summer. Just regular, long Afghan hooks. And this is the kind that they are. And I think I only paid, like... I want to say ten dollars, maybe, maybe, maybe a little less, somewhere between eight and ten dollars for these. Got them on Amazon. Uh, just, just to see if, if if Tunisian was something I like, and um, it is. I really enjoy it. But then I thought, okay, I want some better ones. That well, maybe not necessarily better, but the kind with the I am having such a hard time thinking of that word. With cables. So I ordered these. These. I love. And for starters, look at how pretty they are. Look how pretty. Big old giant one that's a, I think a 25 millimeter. And this is a 375 and I like these because it's kind of flat. I don't know if you can use, but it has a a point, and I like that. And then it has a bunch of different cables that have. Ugh, my 
memory and you just pop it in twist it and then I love 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 these the tool the tool you use to tighten them a paper clip they sent me paper clips and you just uh, there's a little hole in here somewhere and you just pop it in there and turn it and it keeps it tight and then you put this little thing on the other end and you do the same thing you put it in there and you twist it my only issue is my desk is an L shape and you can see part of it's over here and then there's a the part where this is sitting in. so I sit here when I crochet because this is where I, I do all my crocheting I have my computer right there and I watch my crime shows and um, I do recommend Danielle Kirsty for podcast she's she uh, puts up a video every Sunday and they're always good and she's just she's just a little sweetheart to watch it's all right so I'm sitting here you know dot 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 and then this little thing will be clicking like that you hear that constantly and it's like that's a nuisance I do recommend these I think these were like oh I want to say $34 for the set because what I was looking for I didn't most of them are bamboo and I am really not a fan of bamboo at least not in regular crochet hooks and I don't see where they'd be so much better as a um, Tunisian hook. Oh. So then um, Tony at Tail Yarn Crafts she uses these a lot and since she's like a guru on Tunisian she even just I don't want to say wrote a book but she has a book that just came out all about Tunisian. So it's I, I, I'm like, I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust, Tony. So I bought these. And the same thing. You got your hooks and your little stoppers and your cables. And then you got some extra connectors. I like these. But what I don't like... As you see, the end is kind of flat. So it doesn't get into those stitches as well as the other ones do. So, I'm not asking anyone to trust in my opinion on these. But as a newbie to Tunisian, I'm going to suggest if you want the kind with the little cables and you don't want to spend a hundred bucks, on Chagu or Knit Picks or any of those others that are like really pretty but pricey. Get these. They're on Amazon. I will try to post the the links to these on um in the description below. So that's about what I've got for right now. Um I've got a whole bunch of stuff I've made. I'll be Putting together a video for next Tuesday, which is like the 28th, something like that. 20, I don't remember. I don't have a calendar right in front of me because I don't think this one's going to do me any good. This is from last year. Let's see. This is a cool little calendar I got at. All these, these just sit in there like that. I think I paid 99 cents for it because I bought it like in May or June. Okay, so let's see. If today's 20, that's January. That's not going to be any good. Where's last year, March? Okay, that's today. Then a week from today is the 31st. 
No, that's today. A week from today. Yeah, today's the 23rd. I don't know why I kept saying it was the 22nd. Today's the 23rd. So next Tuesday on the 30th, I will have a video posted of all the things I've been working on. And uh, here, there's a little bit. So anyway, so that's it. I And again, I want to thank you guys for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, Rose. And uh, I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Good morning, good week, good evening, good everything. Find happiness and uh, smile. Make someone else happy. See how they react. See you later.